My name is Dr. Michael Johnson. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Visicall. Visicall started in 2016. We had spun the company out from Rutgers University, and the focus of the company has always been transforming tissues into actionable insights. I'm Erin Edwards, and I'm the director of in vitro services here at Visicall. What we can offer here at Visicall is a new quantitative approach to solving some of these biological problems or answering complex questions to research and design challenges presented in the pharmaceutical or biotech industry. So what we can do is use 3D cell culture models in order to mimic tissues that are present throughout the body at different stages of physiological or pathophysiological relevance. And these complex multicellular models really allow us to more closely mimic those tissues such that we can apply different drug compounds at different concentrations and really understand how compounds affect the tissues in a much more relevant manner than is able to be accomplished via traditional 2D cell culture. So what the CX7 LZR has really allowed us to do is to screen a number of samples in a much shorter amount of time without having to have so much user input. And the way that works is we take a tissue, we fix that tissue, we label it with um, antibodies, label it with chemical dyes or stains, we then take that tissue and we render it transparent with our Cytovista tissue clearing reagent, and then from there we go ahead and bring it to our confocal microscope and image it in 3D. We take multiple images throughout the depth of the tissue, and then by acquiring that information, we can process the tissue in 3D and actually generate three-dimensional data from that tissue. Whether it's diagnosing cancer in the clinic, or it's looking at what's going on in a mouse brain as we're studying Alzheimer's disease, or looking at a 3D cell culture model, the paradigm has always been to have a human-driven approach of looking at a tissue and making an evaluation just by eye based upon your intuition. What I'm excited about is shifting that paradigm to a computer-driven approach, where we're pulling out all the data, terabytes of data from tissues, and we're using that data in a very unbiased way to pull out insights that a human might not ever look for. And the future we're hoping to do is actually improve the diagnosis of disease. So that's incredibly exciting. That's why we do what we do is having that translation.